Hey YouTube, today I will show you how I interlock my hair and um, I just received my nappy locks tool and so I have about four to um, five inches of natural hair and um, I'm about to section off my hair and when I come back I will start the locking process. Okay, so I um, finished sectioning off my hair and she already did one. practice one and you can see so that's how it looks and I'm going to pull out another piece of hair <coughs> excuse me okay and then let's get started okay so now you're gonna twirl the end of this actually what I like to do is I like the two strand it at first and then I kind of like pull it all the way down just to make sure I have a, a nice little knot. So you want it like this, a nice little knot at the bottom. And so the I, I'm going to do the four point rotation. And um, I believe it's um, the clock one. I believe it's, okay, let me see if I got this right. What I'm doing um nine o'clock to three o'clock six o'clock to twelve o'clock and then um three o'clock to nine o'clock and then twelve o'clock to six o'clock i know it sounds confusing but um the way i like to remember it the way i'm doing it is left to right down right to left up so that's the way i'm doing it but um You'll see as I continue to go on. Oh, okay, so I'm going to start with my two strand. And then pull it, kind of dig your hands in there so you can make a nice little knot. Okay, there you go. All right, and so now I'm going from... left to right and then going from going up now going from right to left and then I'm going down Okay, left to right, and make sure that you push all the way down so you won't get any holes all the way down, left to right, up, right to left, and down. Okay, the clock rotation would be nine to three. Twelve. Oh no, I'm sorry. Six to twelve. Three to nine. And twelve to six. Okay, so I think I could do one more rotation with my fingers, so 9 to 3, 6 to 12, 3 to 9, I think that's it with my finger, and that's when the, um, nappy locks tool comes into play so I kind of for me it's just easier for me to kind of like thread it like you're threading um a needle okay so then okay so 
of the row. Up. Right to left. In, down. Left to right, I think I have maybe one more rotation. Up. That may be my last one. We shall see. Okay. I don't think I can get any more out of that, but that's it. Then your hair's going to be fine every which way, depending on the last place you um, landed. So I'm going to wrap this up. Okay, so I'm finally done. I just did my last one, and I am happy that I'm finally done and it's over with. It's been a long process, but I'm loving it. I'm very happy with the results. Um, it's been a trial and error. A couple of things that I did differently uh, than I did before was the two strand. I noticed that I only had to do that uh, around the perimeter where I had fine hair. But when I got to the coarse part, the thick part of my hair, um, mainly the crown, I didn't have to do that. All I had to do was twirl a little bit and it knotted up instantly. So that's another thing. Um, what else? Oh, the rotation that I did. I didn't say it o'clock, but I guess it is a clock rotation. I'm not. I'm confused by that. I just did left to right going up, right to left going down. And that worked well for my hair. My hair laid down. Some of them laid different ways depending on uh, where I started the length of my hair in different places like my hair is not even all over so some places didn't lay down flat but for the most part my hair lay down flat and the way I parted it I did I parted it in rows so I just did row by row so I just did rows in the front when I used to braid my hair I used to part it I will always do the front first because I know it would take a long time for me to do my hair. And I did the rows, the sides, and then I kind of kind of went this way. So that's why it kind of has like a diagonal part in the front. And that's the way I want it. I want my hair to lay down this way. And other than that, I'm pretty satisfied with what I have. And let's see what else. And this is it. You can... See my hair. I haven't counted them yet. I don't know if I will. Maybe I have my husband help me count it. But other than that, and the reason it took me so long was because I had two papers to write. I go to school in the evenings. I have my children with me during the day, a two and three year old, so they're very active. And just running around with them all day. I really didn't have time to do my hair. I don't know what I was thinking to start my hair in the middle of the week. But I was just so excited. I was anxious to just start my hair. And now that I, I'm happy that I'm finally done this over with. I know from now on when I retighten my hair to wait on the weekends when my husband is home so he can watch the girls. So they won't bother me so I could hurry up and retighten my hair. But other than that, I'm happy with the results. And um, I'll probably end up doing a braid out or something. Or maybe I just wear it wild like this. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I've been wearing hats for the past three days. So I want to do something different. I'm not sure what I want to do with this yet. Maybe a braid out. I'm not sure. But we'll see. And um, I'll update you all with uh, my regimen, my maintenance, whatever I decide to do. But other than that, that's it. And I love it.